Okay, so Showdown decided to want to start working again, except for the instant replays, unfortunately. Uh, so, I mean, the instant replays work, but, like, you know, uploading a replay, not working right now for some reason. So I did do instant replays, so, um, yeah, didn't get any intro time, which is why you see a picture of Auroros. Um, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong, but, hey, I'll just call him Littlefoot, because that's what I called him in the video. Um, so you can see a picture of Littlefoot. And Littlefoot basically is going to be what this NU team is centered around. I uh, do decide to make an NU team because why not? And, you know, honestly, I do like lower tiers because, especially NU, because there's a lot of stuff in NU and, it, you know, a lot of variety of teams. Upper tiers, you know, you kids kind of stale. Lower tiers, I mean, you start seeing a lot of variety, which is why I tend to favor lower tiers a little bit more than upper tiers at the moment. But, yeah. Team was based on Littlefoot, and yeah, here comes the first battle. So I'm gonna lead off with my Armaldo. As he leads off with Dodrio, he obviously knows this isn't a favorable matchup, so I go for Stealth Rocks, he goes for Ratinon. Figuring he's probably gonna go, go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, it's a safe time to get in Basculin, but um, Basculin, unfortunately, even with adaptability, Choice Band Waterfall can't KO a Eviolite right on with 1.5 defense. So. That's unfortunate, but he does switch out, I guess, knowing that I might have energy ball or something. Um, so, yeah, that's that was unfortunate. Now it's revealed that I have energy ball on this thing, so he might not want to keep right on in. And I go for the Stone Edge, as he had Dodrio on, uh, and I switched into Juggernaut. And then uh, does enough damage that I figure an extra Zora probably KO. And right here, since Rhydon was probably his Stealth Rocker, if he had a Stealth Rocker, I really don't have a need to keep Juggernaut around. Fortunately for me, I survived the Earthquake, which was probably, I don't know, I wouldn't say Choice Band, probably actually Choice Scarf Earthquake. And, uh, yeah, I managed to get two Stone Edges, take out the Slack Game, Brain and Ditto, after sacrificing my Armaldo, and go for the Brave Bird. And this guy only had three moves on on his Dodrio, which was kind of strange. Uh, anyway, as um, as he brings the Pikachu, I'm going to switch into Camera Up, which is actually an Assault Vest Camera Up. Which is probably why he took this hit really nicely. And it's actually, it's an Assault Vest semi-mix attacker that's only special attack is Fire Blast. And then the rest are physical attacks. Uh, but yeah, it's it's actually turned out to be really nice. Assault Vest camera. I was toying with the idea because it gets solid rocks. So, you know, it can actually take hit, super effective hits pretty nicely. And it ends up working. And then I bring in Ditto as after I KO his Miss Maggie as he brings in his Pikachu. We both go for the knockoff. And I get rid of his Light Ball, which... Attributes to my Chime Co. living at this point, which is nice, and it allows me to get up the Trick Room because he kills himself with Volt Tackle. Then I can go for Psychic on Blossom, which is also nice. Um, Hidden Power, I'm guessing Water. That would be my best guess because, I don't know, probably Blossom hates Fire Types. And I am going to bring in my Littlefoot because I don't want to try and say its name. And go for Nature Power, Tri Attack, thanks to Refrigerate and Never Melt Ice. That's an easy. KO right there at that point. So for the next battle, again I lead off with Armado because he's kind of my lead for the team. Even though I don't, I don't really have a set lead for the team. But if there had to be a lead, it'd be Armado. He leads off with his Shuckle, who goes for Accu Pressure, and then he's gonna switch out into his Politoed. Water Absorb Politoed. Um, interestingly enough, with Rain Dance, I don't know why you wouldn't just use Drizzle, but hey, it's it's whatever. Uh, I'm gonna bring in my Ditto to copy his Politoed, and then I stupidly go for the Surf because I'm like, oh, it's a Drizzle Politoed, and then I'm like, oh yeah. Harder, uh, water absorb. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really wanting to switch out either because I don't want him to get free damage on anything that I could bring in. So it's kind of a Ditto's taking hits and healing him. Evil, necessity, necessary evil. Except he leaves it as Politoed. I don't know why. Uh, like I healed his Politoed, so he could have just switched out and it would have been fine. But, yeah, I don't know why he left it as Politoed. But he did. He lost it. And then his Behem almost dies from a crunch and life orb damage. Doesn't quite go for the nature power try attack because I'm pretty sure that it'll do enough damage. Then he brings in Rail Lord. I am guessing this is kind of like Andy's Way Lord. And it is Choice Scarf Water Spout, I'm sure. And unfortunately, I don't win the Choice Scarf War. So Ditto really was just there for Death Fodder, sadly. Uh, I managed to surprisingly take that Water Spout though and fire off an Energy Ball. Just straight up Okos, because Waylord doesn't have the greatest defenses. Executor is going to come in, I go for Trick Room, and then uh, I have Dazzling Gleam for Dark Types. 
so I don't really have Shadow Ball, which sucks, because I have Energy Ball. Um, but yeah, it's all good. For some reason, his Executor doesn't have Chlorophyll. I thought it did, uh, so that was the whole reason for going for Trick Room. And then his Shuckle's going to die from Stealth Rocks, he brings a Nuxi, and Littlefoot is going to be a Shining Star and just go for tri -Track. He goes for Trick, gives me a Choice Scarf, um, but because I have no Speed Investment, I'm still slower than the Uxie. And that is a dead Uxie. And then he accused me of hacking. What a retard. Anyway. Sorry. Forget my language. Last battle, which is actually probably the best battle out of all of them. Um, so I lead off with my Armado and go for the Stealth Rock. He has Kangaskhan. And oh boy, how the mighty have fallen without that Kangaskhan Knight. Kangaskhan is just in you, apparently. I guess it's in you. It obviously is if it let it pass. So that's a thing. Uh, Luminion. Takes a nice little Stone Edge damage. I switch into Ditto because I'm sure it's a Storm Drain Luminion. And uh, he goes with Scald, raises my special attack. I get to kind of see what he has. It's just Protect, Defog, um, Scald, and Toxic. So I obviously had really nothing I could use on him except for Toxic. And I knew he was going to Defog anyway. I decided to bring in Chime Go. He is going to switch out. Um, surprisingly, I guess the way I brought in the Chime Go, he knew that I probably had Energy Ball. Not really sure. He brain, he has Musharner, and he did mention afterwards that he unfortunately put Trick Room on Musharner instead of Trick, which sucks, because he probably would have tricked me a Toxic Orb there and gotten Leftovers, which would have helped him. Uh, so I go for the x Scizor and Almardo. Does nice damage. Go for the Stone Miss. But fortunately for me, I'm apparently faster for some reason. I don't know why, but I go for the Stone Edge, and it takes care of his Armaldo. Uh, so that's that. Now I'm going to switch back into Luminion. He predicts it nicely, goes for Toxic. It was kind of a... I don't know. I don't want to say it was an obvious move, but it was a pretty obvious move. I go for Toxic just to try and get Toxic on his Luminion. And uh doesn't exactly work. He brings in Blossom, but Assault Vest, Camera, takes the Giga Drain rather nicely. So that's that's always good. Go for the Fire Blast. Uh, does 23%, which is not too bad considering Resisted Hit. And I think he's a Special Defensive Wall probably. Gonna bring in Chime Go because there's really nothing else I can do. And, um, yeah, he's gonna bring King of Scott. I go for Energy Ball. Pretty much almost KOs. Am I gonna need Chime Go Life if I really actually want to play games with that? So I'm gonna bring in my Ditto copies, King of Scott. And he I noticed after I pressed the button that he had Facade and I could have used that and probably just destroyed everything. So, that was my bad. I just went for the Drain Punch. Uh, I also noticed he had Sucker Punch. So I was like, eh, he might sucker punch me, and I need health back if I want to live. And then I bring back Ditto, and he goes for the extra sentry. I lose my Juggernaut. It's okay. I have my Basculin, and then I forget that he still has Luminion. So I go for a Waterfall really stupidly. Didn't need to. But I did anyway, so hey. It's whatever. He's going to go for Toxic. I don't know if he expects me to stay in switch moves. I obviously can't, because I'm a choice band. Basculin, uh, I go for Psychic here, I'm just going to die Toxic, which is okay, because I kind of brought Chimeco in for Death Fodder, so I could bring in Littlefoot and go for the Thunderbolt, which this is why I kind of suspect he might be specially defensive. I mean, granted, I'm holding Nevermelt Ice and not like Life Orb or anything, so that might have mattered a little bit too. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I get Toxic, take Scout damage, and I do manage to KO his Lumineon, which was being really annoying. So now my masculine is pretty safe to do whatever I need to. But I decide since uh, he is like probably a choice scarf type explosion, and I have an assault vest camera, assault vest camera might as well take the hit. So I did, and KO with Stone Edge because I kind of expected him to switch into Blossom, um, just so he would keep preserve his type explosion. But I guess he didn't want it. He goes for the Leech Seed. I go ahead and switch into Blossom. You saw how much Fire Blast did. Um, and then obviously, like, I can just go for Crunch here. At this point, I can continuously do that choice banded Crunch. And the reason for Crunch is there is a lot of Psychic types, um, in, in you. So, hey, it kind of works out. And then I survived the Musharna. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I would have lived with the Salt Vest Camera up as well. And then just defeated him. But I hope you guys enjoyed the NU battles. It was actually really fun making a team. Um, I have determined that my Google Chrome is, like, messed up, so that's why it never saves my teams. So I might start using my Firefox or something, so it at least saves my teams in the cookies. I don't know. Google Chrome's being weird lately. But, oh well. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the end of your battles. Make sure to like, comment, sub if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.